one of frustration, really. I'm looking back at it that we uh, how we started the game, first ten minutes, first twelve minutes. Yeah, I was I was happy with that. And when we lost the lost the first goal, uh, I think it knocked our confidence a little bit, a little, knocked our self belief, and it took us till half time to to regain that composure and, and, and say believe in ourselves. And you know to go and take the game to Italy. That was in and out of possession. You know, it's just a frustration for me that what, what could have been maybe that um, you know we start when we're two 0 down there and, and, uh, and we're, we're, we're giving ourselves a mountain to climb. We've got a friendly tomorrow, but I guess all eyes are actually kind of on on Wednesday in Bulgaria. Is everything that you're doing at the moment now with that in mind, rather than uh, the friendly tomorrow? So. No, no all, all eyes are on tomorrow. It literally is. You know, I want to win a game of football. Um, said to the fellas, no such thing as a football a friendly now in, uh, in, in international football for us. It's there's, there's a chance for us to to see players perform. There's a chance for the players to go and uh, stamp their claim on certain positions. And um, but I don't think we can take it take it lightly in any shape or form. But what what will we be thinking in terms of a, a squad selection? Will we be seeing a lot of changes or? You know, because you you want to protect some people for Wednesday, perhaps. No, there will be changes, definitely, yeah, and uh, and quite a few of them. So you know, we've got a squad of players here who are good enough to go and play for the country. They're um, they're itching to, to to get out and, and have some game time, and um, you know, hopefully there'll be uh, a freshness about us, which uh, we will be able to see on the park. I'm not going to ask you to name your team or anything like that, but one area I wanted to ask about in terms of changes is we were talking last week that it's a very sort of inexperienced goalkeeping group with only Bailey having sort of a, a number of caps to his name. Is, is that something you've thought about? I told Connor Hazard that he would be playing in this game when we first met up. I told Bailey that he'd be um, missing out on this game. So, you know, when, when Connor's name tomorrow night in the team sheet, you know, it'll have nothing to do with what happened the other night. And, um, you know, I've had, had conversations with, with, with Bailey, I've had conversations with all the goalkeepers and, and they know the situation um, and we, uh, we move on. OK, thank you. Cheers. Mark, do you want to pick it up from there, mate? Sure. Um, in, in terms of the friendly, then, you're obviously you're going to be looking at, at players. Um, obviously, everyone will look at Stephen Davis as well. Is Davis someone that you, you will bring off the bench or someone that you'll want to bring off the bench? Or does that not come into your thinking? If he actually makes the bench, then I'll, I've got a decision to, to make. Um, you know, he's an important player for us. And, and you know, everyone's looking for him to, to break that record. Uh, you know, I've made no promises. I've spoken to him about it. And I've made no promises that, that um, he'll get some game time to get that and... and you know, it, it'll happen when it happens, but um, tomorrow is about about winning the game, and you know I'll have to make decisions as the game goes on as to as to, to what happens on on the plan. And in terms of the USA, what sort of level do you think they'll be at? Because obviously a lot of their players are playing at a very good level. Very good, yeah, very good. They're, they're a young group. I've looked at the squad that they brought over. Um, a lot of decisions for them to make as well. They've got good choices. A lot of them are playing at uh, a very high standard in, in European football, so I think they'll um, they, they've looked at this game as their their high level game. So to speak, that's no disrespect to Jamaica, and, and so I think they'll play a strong team, and, and we have to be ready for that. They are energetic. They are they've got flair players. They've got a lot of pace at, at the top end of the pitch, and um, they'll come in, in, into this game with no fear. Um, for them. You know, it's a preparation for, for what they've got coming up later on in the year. And, um, you know, they'll be looking at it and taking it very, very seriously, as as we, we will be. And in terms of the guy sitting beside you there, not Danny, um, you must be delighted to see, obviously, Kai is banging the goals in. He's just got the new club and he's hit the ground running. Yeah, well, when, when Carl left, he's uh, hitting the target regularly. You know, he's, um, he's going to be an asset to us. And he's, um, you know, he's gone to kill Marnie. He's got that move, I think. You know, for for a small period in his life, he might be settled, and um, and, and it's uh, you know I think it is great to see him, you know hit the target so soon in uh, in getting to the club, and that can only be be better for us. You know, Kyle 
shot this country to, to, to the Euros in 2016, as he'll say, backed up by a very, very good score of players. But you need a goal scorer to, to put his hand up and say, and, and, and get you, you know, six, seven, eight goals during a campaign. I know Kyle got more than that, but um, you know, if, if you've got a goal scorer that's hitting the back of the target regularly, then you're in with a chance. And, and hopefully that'll happen tomorrow night. And just something slightly different, just something that we've all noticed. Um, is Damien Johnson officially gone or is he just still taking a bit of a break and has Tommy Johnson replaced him or how does that work? No, when Damien came in in September, um, he was very much part of the group. October, unfortunately, um, the passing away of his, of his father uh, hit, hit him very hard. I think you know that, Mark. Um, when it came to November, I uh, left, left it up with him and he, the family still went over it. I think he had a lot of responsibilities on his on his shoulders as well. And he decided that he, he wasn't in the right frame of mind for, for that. And um, at the moment, I've, I've, I've kept in touch with him, spoken to him, but um, he's not joining up with us as, as, as we stand at this moment. Great, thank you. Thanks, uh, Darren. Yes, uh, Ian, Kyle, how are you? Um, Okay. Ian, can I just ask you, just in Connor Hazard, you've worked with him under 21 level. I think he played in the famous win over Spain in 2018 or whatever year it was. I can't, can't remember now, time flies. Um, how impressed have you been with how he's sort of grown as a player over the last couple of years? Well, he's in a very similar situation to Bailey, where he's at a big club. He's um, you know learning his trade still. He's now managed to, to, to get some game time. The first team at Celtic. He's played in a, in, in a couple of real high-profile games, Cup final, which was fantastic for him. Um, he's got to be allowed to, to make mistakes. He's um, he's a confident goalkeeper. He's someone who's, who's, who's imposing in his, in his you know his stature, his height. Um, he just needs to be given the again the experience to how to deal with certain situations. And I think tomorrow night's perfect for him. And just when you look at recent re recent results, haven't f fallen kindly for the team. Uh, but when you look at the performances, there are positive elements within each performance. Is it all about bringing those positive positive elements together in one performance? Because it doesn't feel as if you're too far away from that. From that. No, um, you know, I'm pleased you you know you alluded to that. It's uh, the Norway game at home is the only one I think since I've been in charge. I felt you know we, we didn't. Uh, we didn't perform at all and, and, and we're never in the game. All the other games are so, you know, fully uh, a part of it. I feel as though we've, you know, we've, we've played well, say, for periods uh, of, of certain games. I feel as certainly the team should have got uh, more rewards for, for, for the endeavour and the, the way they've gone and played in, in a lot of the games. Um, and, and again, that's, that just adds to the frustration at the moment because it's, uh, you know, there's nothing like having that uh, habit of winning games of football. Uh, and I think the players deserve to, to have that winning feeling. So it's, um, it, I'm sure it's not far in coming. And uh, we, we've got to stay positive. We have to have that belief about ourselves. These are good players we're dealing with here. And, and they're, um, you know, they're not far away from, from getting it right for, for 90 minutes.